kick back and catch a vibe. We at home with Lisa, Lisa. Kick back, it's a lifestyle. We at home with Lisa, Lisa. Hello, everyone. Welcome to At Home with Lisa, Lisa. Hi, love bugs. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having an awesome day today, y'all. I know I'm sounding a little bit congested. That's because for some reason, five minutes before I was getting ready to record, I just started sneezing. I think I sneezed like six times, y'all. But anyway, hopefully whatever it is, it's just passing through, you know? But anyway, if this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're so glad that you decided to stop by and check us out. And if you like anything home decor, this is the place for you to be. So don't hesitate by clicking on that subscribe button and the bell notification so you'll be notified every time we drop a video. And I'm trying to drop a video every other day. So you're watching this one today, there won't be one tomorrow, but it will be the following day. So every other day, all right? Also, if you're returning, our ride or dies, welcome back. We so appreciate your continued support. And also, everyone, please give this video, once you watch it to the end, give this video a big thumbs up and leave us some sweet, loving, kind comments down be low so y'all it is august it is still august right and i know those of you those of you who know know that every decor store you go into there is fall halloween and christmas decor that is out y'all it's everywhere michael's is loaded with it Hobby Lobby is loaded with it. I haven't been to Home Goods, so I don't know what they have. But anyway, y'all, I went ahead and pulled out my fall bins. I have about four of them, y'all. Not to mention all of my florals. They're separate. But anyway, I pulled them out and I was like, let me see what I have before I go to the store shopping. Well, I had already been to the store shopping, y'all. <laughs> but I did not purchase a lot because I knew I had some things that I was going to be reusing again, okay? So, I have a lot of decor. I have a lot of pumpkins, y'all. Oh my gosh, I must have used at least close to 100 pumpkins last year, y'all. But anyway, I am going to be bringing some of the pumpkins back because some of them are just so cute, y'all. You can't resist them. But I'm trying to stay away from like the, the light orange and yellow colors. I'm trying to bring like that fall, dark fall and dark autumn colors in like your like your burnt orange, your dark oranges, and your browns, and your, um, just your metal, dark metal tones, and uh, dark burgundy floral. So that's what I'm trying to bring into the space for the fall. So today, you all, I wanted to start out fall by creating a centerpiece a floral centerpiece okay so that's what i want to be doing today um just to help myself out to give me some ideas and to give you guys some ideas as well too now if you guys were rocking with me last year i did do a centerpiece where i use a pumpkin and i did some florals i used like the green foam to put in the bottom of the pumpkin and i just stuck the floors in that way and then i just um utilized a a bow in front of it but this time i do want to use that same pumpkin i am going to use that same pumpkin that i had last year and i did purchase some more that same size because I plan on doing some more decor DIYs as well too for the fall. 
So I am going to bring back that same pumpkin again, but I'm going to, the way I um, style it is gonna be a little bit different and what I'm using is going to be a little bit different from what I had last year. So you guys, without further ado, I'm going to bring this camera down and so you guys can see how I'm creating or styling this DIY fall floral arrangement. All right, you guys. Stay tuned. Love bugs. Okay. So, <laughs> y'all don't come for me in the comments, please. So, y'all, when I got off camera to bring the camera down to go ahead and do this DIY floral arrangement, I was like, I know I have some more fall pieces that I can use in this arrangement. So, y'all. I went in my storage and I pulled out a couple of bins. Y'all, I found myself pausing for the video and going through the bins and separating everything. So y'all, this is what I got going right now. This is what's going on right now. This is ridiculous, but um, one step closer to organizing it a little bit more. Then I got bags of greenery in there, y'all. This, I got it everywhere. But, like I said, it's sorted, it's organized. I'm going to have to go to the store and get some more bins. Because I want this stuff to be nice and neat and be able to add to my collection and this is all the fall stuff that I have on the counter. This is all the fall stuff that I have on the counter. Yeah, I thought I should share that with you guys. This is all the fall stuff that I have. Do I need any more? Absolutely not absolutely not so let's go in the garage and let me show y'all what fall decor i have in the garage hold on okay so fall bin fall bin and then the one on the bottom is a fall bin then i have fall florals right here dry floors and then i have all of this down here And I have given some away too, y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh. See all these pumpkins that I was telling you guys about? I just love the different types and different colors and um, the different feel of the different types of camp, um, pumpkins that are out now. So yeah, y'all. So I had to pause the video for a while, y'all, so I could sort through all of my florals so I could choose what I want in this arrangement. And I do have more fall stuff in bins that I need to go through, y'all. But some stuff I did throw out. I did throw out quite a bit of stuff. All right, you all, let's get back or let's start on this DIY. <laughs> Okay, you all, so today we are, go are going to do a fall DIY floral arrangement. So as I was stated before, this is a pumpkin that I used last year. Um, I think I got it from Michaels, and at the time that I got it, I do believe it was 50% off. So I'm going to reuse this this year just to show you guys an arrangement. And I'm going to use this clear glass vase. And I'm going to add it in here. And then that's what I'm going to put the florals in, I believe. I wish I had one that was a little bit wider, but I don't. So I'm going to use that one and see how that goes. All right, so as y'all saw earlier, I have a lot to choose from. Um, I'm trying to stay away from, and I only have one of these. I'm trying to stay away from this one because of the 
yellow, light yellow, but it has my green in there that I like. It has the green and then it has the darker orange in here, the darker green. So I may end up using this one, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna wait to the last minute to use that one if I need be. But this is more or less what I'm going for. And this. I'm trying to use these colors. But anyway, let's start trying to put her in here and I'm gonna try to bring y'all up a little bit more so y'all can see. And they gonna move about. They gonna move about until I can get it full. And I want it to be full. I don't want it to be skimpy. I'm trying to get it where y'all can see it. And so I'm just spreading these because they've been inside a bin. How do you all store your dry floors, y'all? Because I have mine in bins and I'm thinking about going to get more bins. Um, if you all have a better way, please let me know to store your florals where it's easy access to them. Right now, in my mind, I'm thinking how I've organized and separated everything. If I just color code them in the different bins that would probably work but y'all let me know give me some ideas okay and then now i'm going with this piece here I want this uh, floral arrangement to be over the top. And when I say over the top, I want to add height to it. I want to have height to it. And this is what I mean by height. And some of these, you guys, I bought last year and did not utilize them. And my battery is about to die. Go figure. Okay, y'all hold on a second. Let me switch out my battery, okay? All right, love bugs. I am back and I am here with the reveal the DIY fall floral centerpiece or arrangement has been completed. So I have styled it and this is what it looks like. It turned out nicely, you guys. I am thankful for each and every one of you for tuning in and checking out this video. It was a little bit all over the place, but hey, I pulled it together. So I just have this kitchen towel that says thankful, and it is in that um, a rust color, which those are one of my colors that I was shooting for. And then I have just this little, it's like a storage book and it has the first letter of our last name on it. And then I have like the um, amber colored candle here in the pumpkin style. And then I used the pumpkin from last year. And then I have some flowers here, some sunflowers here in a neutral tone. 
And then I have some pumpkins in here and I just used the different color leaves and I threw a little bit of greenery in there. And yeah, you guys, those are the pieces of the dry floor that I decided to use in this arrangement. And I think it is cute. I think it is cute, 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 cute. So again, thank you all so, so much for tuning in. Please give this video a big thumbs up. And I hope you all like this fall DIY floral arrangement. You can use it for your countertop as I have done here. Or you can use it for a centerpiece on your dining table or your console table or wherever you choose to place it at those are different areas that you can utilize this piece in well all right love buzz again thank you thank you thank you thank you i cannot do this without you all and again if you're new welcome 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 i hope you like this content enough to go ahead and click on that subscribe button and I'm going to see y'all in the next video because I have to run and go get some bins because y'all saw the mess that I got all over the floor that I have got to straighten up. But all right, y'all. Bye-bye, love bugs. See y'all in the next one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Kick back and catch a bye. We at home.